Hi, um, welcome to this tutorial. I'll, sh I'll be showing you how to use Plexus 2.8 POS software. So go on Plexus, and now you want to log in. And for now, I'm going to use Administrator 10, but I'll be creating another account. So you'll I'll be logging on the other account afterwards. So first we want to start off by making a main account instead of administrator 10. So we're going to go to setups, main system setups, terminal setup, and I'm just going to select that. And you can see a list of all the different logins that I, that I was able to use before. So as you can see there's a lot of samples that come with Plexus and usually you want to delete them but for video purposes I'm I'm not gonna do it just cuz I need them for my right now on my Plexus so to delete one you just select it details you wanna click on edit and then delete and then you can see that it would delete it okay all you have to do is you just click on it go to details and you'll see the workstation name and you can edit the workstation name that that'll be your company name um you want to keep all module access there so then you go into page two and you just want to put in what your rece receipt printer is one we have is our epson tm t88 partial cut printer so we're just going to save that for printer cutter command it says Epson but we're choosing Ithaca that's the only one that works for our cash drawer name it's the same as our printer because it is connected to our printer so I'm just gonna use Epson for the drawer command it's gonna be Epson for pull display name I'm gonna be using generic text only and the pull model is ultimate. Now that that is pretty much all you have filled out. If you have a weight scale, then you put that in. But for for now, that's all I have. Page three, you shouldn't have anything to to edit on there. So now we're just gonna start, and we're gonna start editing our company names. So we're just gonna exit this. We're gonna go to setups, main system setups company management and then switch add and delete companies and we're just going to go on there and now you can see all the different companies and that this has this doesn't have to do with our logons that we saw before this is just the company that could go to each account so to delete a company you just have to select it edit and delete it. but I'm not going to delete it for video purposes I'll show you how to make one. All you want to do is you want to go into add and then you just enter the folder name which is in your computer it's gonna make a folder so we're just gonna put an RG for this video and for company display name I'll just put in rescue geeks and that's what you see like on plexus and now what you want to do is you just want to double click on the company and it'll it'll select that company and like sort of log into that company but you'll still stay logged in as like what I am right now administrator 10 so now it's just gonna ask me to restart the application because I had to update some stuff so I'm just gonna restart it bt.exe but it can be called Plexus too. It's it's the same thing. Now I'm just gonna log in. I'm gonna choose Administrator 10 anyways. So I can just type in 10. It'll be the same thing. What you want to do is you want to go into your terminal setup, and you want to choose which terminal account you what, that you're gonna use that you would set up before and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the details of that account 
and then you're gonna set the company so right now it's already saved as what I wanted but usually you'd have to have to set it to the, to the new company you made so you just select it and then click change You want to go to setups, main system setups, company management, and you want to edit the selected company, which should be the one I just made. So right now it's the, the field is empty. So what I'm going to do is I want to edit the company name. I want to put in a company address. I'm going to put in the city, the state, slash province the zip code or postal code phone number everything that you that your company's details and your restock percentage and the SC percentage but the only thing you don't want to touch is the phone mask that if you touch that you're gonna have to like reinstall no no mind I'll take that part now what you want to do is you want to edit the pa page two whatever matches your company and page three you most likely don't have to touch much uh, page three you most likely don't have to do anything